Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to learn how to investigate or how to measure the friction coefficient of any coating or any lubricant. For this we have to prepare some kind of solid coating on a different kind of substrate like copper, steel or uh, uh, silicon, anything like that. We are using uh, thermometer CSM Carbo 3 and uh, this is made by a company Anton Thor and this is actually made up of uh, two main things this one is a, uh, a stage from where we have to uh, put our lower sample uh, usually we can call it disc and uh, this one is a uh, clamp we have to fix the uh, upper sample usually a ball or a pin here you can see this is the uh, holder for the upper specimen we have placed the ball inside it you can see and uh, this, 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 this one is a sensor uh, which usually transmit or uh, transmit signal and measure our friction data then here we have a uh, like computer we have we can see real time everything that what is our friction either it's going up or down or something like that this is a last experiment uh, i will show later that how to uh, operate from here so it's time to put our sample here now it's sample and we have to adjust from here you can see here and this is a screw is used to tight the sample here this is our low sample this one is our upper sample now we have to align everything so that they can slide on each other so we have to take him down and you can see we i have already performed two experiments on this sample you can see here now i have to change the size if you want to change the size you have to use this screw and a uh, little bit lose it and then you can move this uh, specimen holder now you can see we can lose lose this once this one lose we can move this one from here and now we can see here and here you can see now we also can use this one to rotate but usually i uh, don't uh, touch too much with this thing and uh, I usually just lose it and from here I slide this and uh, adjust my sample next step we have to check the level of the sample now you can see everything is in level and uh, sample is uh, on the upper specimen is on the uh, lower specimen or usually disc now we can apply the load In my case, we are using uh, two Newton load, and now we are going to the computer side so that we can give the all these instructions so that this machine can operate. From from here, you have to uh, really open this uh, travelmeter app application. Otherwise, my open is already working, so I have to open it from here now you can see here there are a couple of many things and uh, this is a uh, total duration of time and this depends upon our speed and uh, how much distance we are using in this case this one is the uh, amplitude of the stroke stroke length i'm using five millimeter and here is uh, the this one is um, a frequency or means a speed and last time i've used seven now i'm using it like five and uh, these are the 300 uh, 3000 cycles after everything we have to press now everything is okay our load is 0 0.5 but now i have to change it to 0 0.2 because we are using 0 0.2 newton load and here you can describe all the things to remember like uh, my coating is pure maxi a uh, max test and my ball is made from l203 are you all i just uh, I'll do written L203 because 
uh, I want to keep in my mind that what was the type of my ball, uh, upper specimen. Now, either you have to ask, uh, so you can write uh, steel, because I'm usually using steel substrate, so I remember everything, so I'm not uh, writing it, okay? Now you have to just click. Now everything is okay, you can see. Now we have to write okay, click okay, and then we have to start. Now, from here, we have to move this one to the down, and then click, we have to click OK. And machine has already started, you can see. Okay. Usually we have to close this box, but uh, I was in a little bit hurry. I forgot to close this box. Now you can see here on the screen. This is the real time fraction measurement. From here you can see maximum fraction coefficient is already 0 0.4 and mean is 0 0.09 or something like that. Once we have to finish this, then I will continue to talk about uh, how to export this data from the, the software to make off via our engine or some any other software. Thank you.